I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. 
At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died. So you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Hooah. Yo, we got hostiles. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Deploying drone. I'm moving to position. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got a target to carrying fire. submachine guns. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. That makes five. We're still good. There's a Sicario over here, in front of the watchtower. Spotted one with submachine guns. I'm getting a position. Good to go. Silencio, marche. Pinche cabrón. Está bien, ganaron. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Maru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe... I'm alive as long as I can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move.
Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. We're cool, we're cool. Damn, that was cold. I'm moving to position. Ready to fire. They're gonna see you. Hold up. I'm opening fire on these shout heads. It's down. Drone is up. Got another tango. I'm seeing two narcos here. I got one narco. Where you got him? In the field. Check it out, weapons case. Si te mueves, estás muerto. ¿Entiendes? Entiendan, carajo. Agarraron a la persona que no debía. Exijo que me saquen ahora mismo de aquí, bestias! Oiga, oiga. Usted puede ayudarnos. Yo sé que usted puede. Me da igual si son extranjeros. Les debemos la vida a estos güeros. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here.
Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pa Katari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Eyes in a weapons case. Hey, come on. Down. is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval was when you questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. I'll fly. I'm on. Let's go.
engaging. We need what's in that truck. Don't blow it up. Oh shit, we've been spotted. Don't destroy the truck. We need what's inside. Say the word. Eyes up. We've got Unidad vehicles on the road. Looks like a standard patrol plus a combo truck. Qatari's people would like to get their hands on those radios. What do you think, boss? Combo truck secure. Qatari's people are on the way to pick up the gear. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done. Tango knows somebody's got a bead on it. Target's marked. Just say the word. They're on us. Stay quiet. Firing.
Get ready. Fire. Copy that. Found an address for a rebel radio station, SB took off the air. Let's get that thing back online. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us a year... Marion Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. Frag out, get some. I'll tell you what I know. Just don't hurt me. The rebels could really use it here in that cartel supply plane. Don't see why we can't. I got it. I'll fly. I'm good. Crank it. Those Sicarios are going to destroy the emitter. Go. should boost the rebels' morale. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is all up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. 
Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. Man down! Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Culta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hid him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. Fuck. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Culta now. Hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> 